Hello, everyone. Today we have the pleasure of interviewing a talented student from Tsinghua University. She not only excels in her academic pursuits, but also shows her creativity in short video creation. Now let's welcome Zhang Xi. Actually, there are two journalists who inspired me to venture into short video making field. One is a Philippine journalist. I know him when I was having an internship, and he works for CNN.、Uh, when he visited China and tell Chinese stories, he took many short videos,、uh, which is really high quality and fast paced. And the second journalist is from China Daily,、uh, who is a Chinese girl called Peng Yixuan, and her vlog of like Xiao Peng's vlog is really famous and well made. And these two journalists inspire me that besides reporting and photography, we can also make short videos to tell stories, and it's becoming a trend. So I want to practice more on this. Uh, actually, last week, Dong Yuhui, a former English teacher who later became a very famous e-commerce host, he came to Tsinghua to give a speech. I took a short video and posted it on Douyin, the Chinese version of TikTok, and received millions of likes and views. The video is also quoted by many local news agencies and TV stations. So this is part of my. Job and I'm really proud and encouraged by this event.、Um, my first tip is to tell unique stories that others haven't told. Second one is to make informational and helpful videos, like make the audience cry, laugh, or be encouraged. Um, about feedbacks like negative or Positive one. To be honest, I'm a very sensitive person, and I can't stand with many negative feedbacks from our teachers or friends or parents. But after being a vlogger and post some videos and pictures on social media, I found I become more brave because I could receive different kinds of feedbacks. It made me see the world differently, and it's just broadened my horizon. And I think it makes me become less sensitive. And that is one benefit I gain from being a blogger. The course of multimedia reporting of global business journalism program benefits me a lot. Actually, I learned two things from this course. The first one is just like an encouragement. For me to create videos and multimedia products because I know maybe it can be posted on Jibigo's social media accounts and make me feel my work could be viewed by others and it's worthy. The second one is some tips from photography part.、Uh, I remember the rule of three, like the long range, mid range, and close up, and it also can be applied to video making. Uh, when you took a short video,、uh, even if you just use one phone to took that video, you can crop the videos into different range and make your video more diversified and、uh, not that boring.